Good morning and welcome to Mrs. Reynolds' crazy studio. Um, I know I'm teaching you all how to make a studio of your own, in your own space, but I wanted you to see uh, my crazy studio because I'm a grown-up and I have a room available where I can put all my stuff. So I'm going to give you a little pan of the room. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Just like my classroom, because we do a lot of stuff here. Okay? And I'll show you each section and uh, show you some of the things I really enjoy about my studio. Okay, first of all, when you come in, these are the doors from the rest of the house. You notice they're closed and shuttered. That way I can work and not have to put away my stuff all the time. And I can have works in progress. And the rest of the house doesn't have to see how messy it gets in here. Alright, so these are the, some of the things that I... Um, have been organized. Even I, can, I'm one of the. I'm a visual learner. I know we've talked about uh, what types of learners you are, but I am. I have to see things, which is why I have to th have things clear, and labeled. So this is where I keep some of my things in these little bins. All right, they're about twelve dollars or fourteen dollars at Walmart for the stack. But you know you can have your studio from stuff that you find around the house. This is an old workbench that we had inside the garage and we had two of them from our moves so I took one and it's great to use uh, for um, painting and hammering and nailing and doing all that kind of stuff and I um, keep it uh, full with um, the stuff I work on um, it's on a mat so if anything happens it doesn't hit the wood floors but at the very top I keep some of my I have a dream board or a board that I put all my ideas back there as you can see I have a lot of ideas at the very top I have a wonderful um, haunted house that was given to me by one of my students two years ago that I absolutely love that she did a really great job with and I also have um, places where I keep all my little individual little letters and elements these are some of the books I make I make books and I work with clay I do a lot of different things all right, and then over here, you can see the area. I have some things I'm working on. I'm working on an altered book, uh, stuff for Christmas. I keep all my pens and markers and stuff. Some of my favorite things are in mason jars back there. All right, and old m coffee mugs that have their handles broken off in flower pots. They're great for storing your pens and pencils and things like that. Hopefully, I s you save some of your school supplies so you have some things to use in your studio. Okay. So moving around here, um, I keep lots of paper and lots of cardboard that people throw out that I can use for different projects. Once again, I have some more of those storage things to separate things out. Remember, I'm a visual learner, so I have to see things, but you're not necessarily a visual learner. So if you're one of those people, you have to have music in your room, you have to move around a lot, it's up to you. Okay, so here's some of the cardboard that um, people throw out all the time that I use in my books. These are some projects that I'm working on in the center. And over here, as you know, that da, da da is Mrs. Reynolds' favorite part of the room because this is where she keeps all her, yes, you said it, glue and tape. Okay, so this is my cutting station. Here's some of the um, duct tape that we use in our books uh, this year um, that were um, very you know great looking and, and I like using a lot and over here against this wall is where I keep all my ribbon on spools and I also keep my stickers and my borders and stuff I do a lot of scrapbooking a lot of bookmaking over here is where I keep my extra tools and my uh, stamp collections uh, stamps that I use um, for books rubber stamps okay they're all organized over here I keep some of my electrical equipment like my crickets and also other things I use in other wood crafts, scissors, all kinds of chemicals and things that I use. Alright, and then over here is where I keep my paper and everything separated by color. Alright, and including this cabinet here is filled with my goals and lots of things by color. It's one of those paintings by my brother. And this is my large desk that I separated in two halves. So usually I can work on two projects at two times. I store my clay in here. And here's the other half of that desk. One half is working on one project. The other half of the desk is working on another project. Plus this new chrysanthemum book that I'm going to show you how to make. It's not a star. It's a chrysanthemum, which is a flower. Okay. And then over here is where I keep all my study books, my markers, and my, um, my information about stuff I'd like to do 
and at the very bottom all my punches okay I hope that lets you know that it's possible to one day have your own studio but you do not need a whole room and I'm going to show you how to make a studio in one little shoe box and one little piece of cardboard paper alright let's get going